I'm Bob Noon. I'm the editor of the journal Family Systems, published by the Bowen Center. And the next issue of the journal will be coming out in the next week or two. I think it's an important issue. And uh, I'm delighted today to have the author of one of the articles in this um, issue to say a little bit about her work and what is um, represented in that article. So Ms. Victoria Harrison is um, known to most of you, I'm sure, uh, has done a variety of kinds of research. And this uh, article in the next issue is represents one of those efforts, which I think is an important one. So uh, Victoria, let me start and just ask you what, if you could say a few words about this, um, this paper that is in this next issue. Well, I, I'm glad to add, um, add a thought or two about this article, and I'm very grateful that the journal uh, published it in as complete a form as it was able to, to do. Um, the article itself is based upon res a research project that um, I did with participants in the postgraduate program who volunteered to be part of this research that um, that that asked them to carefully document the steps they were taking to work on differentiation of self in their own families and to measure and monitor the changes that occurred in their physiology and symptoms in the family um, and um, to then be able to look at the variation in progress for a variety of people. I really wanted to better understand what it is that changes when someone is working on differentiation of self and to um, identify factors and facts of the family that seem to make a difference in progress that may impact progress. So that is what this article is based upon. It's one of the people who participated in the study for three years. So it's a, a very thorough um, examination of what kind of changes occurred, when they occurred, and what she was doing to work on differentiation of self in her own family. I think everybody who reads the study could put themselves in that study in a way and think about how to evaluate their progress and the difference it makes in their functioning and in the functioning of the family. There were a few surprises when I looked at the data for just this one person. I would love for readers to look for the surprise, and to hear what people think about it. Do you know what the surprise is? No, I don't. I'm going to have to look at it again and see if I can come <laughs> up with it. Okay. I, uh, I'll i quiz you and, and quiz anybody, be glad to quiz anybody who reads the article. Um, I don't know if I should give it away here in this. Uh, I wouldn't give it away. Let, um, I won't give it away in this three-minute <laughs> discussion of the article. Um, so I'll leave the listener and the reader with that question. What is the surprise? I'm I don't intrigued. think it will surprise <laughs> everyone. It surprised me. Okay. Um, the other thing I'd add is that when I designed the study, I hoped that it could be a model for expanding research on the difference it makes to work on differentiation of self, the difference it makes for the person, but also in their marriage, for their children, and in the larger family. The other um, interesting question for the reader would be, what would they add? What would you add to expand and improve upon this study? My goal is that it be improved upon. 
I can see ways that it could be improved upon. I don't know if I'll ever be able to replicate this exact study because at the time, the Bowen Center had biofeedback and brainwave equipment on site and the participants were able to use that equipment to measure the changes that were timed with the steps they were taking to work on differentiation in their family. And the Bowen Center no longer has that equipment. My goal, one of my goals, is to be able to buy the newest um, equipment that would let me replicate and continue to build on the study, it, it, it could be a part of every person's coaching. It could be a part of working with everyone, whether they're in the postgraduate program or whether they're clients referred by insurance companies, because it's so clear. It lets people see what difference they're making and what they're doing that makes the difference and then over time, what factors may delay progress or impact progress? Well, as you know, for uh, years, um, you and myself and many others have been curious about how do you demonstrate the efficacy of working on differentiation of self? What difference does it make? I think we have the experience with ourselves and others that it really is important and is um, there's an efficacy to it. But how do you really research that? And I think yours is one of the first studies that I think, um, it's a longitudinal study, so it began with um, um, postgraduate program trainees at the very beginning of the, their effort in the program. And then you used a number of measures. So you're looking at some of the complexity of their families by looking at the family diagram and some changes that have taken place over the three-year period of time as well as the physiological measures that you were describing with biofeedback and neurofeedback. So it is um, really a, a um, pioneering effort to actually research the impact of working on differentiation of self in one's own family. So I'm delighted to have it in this issue and I think the, uh, the readership will be in for a treat. So uh, any other comments you would like to make uh, today, Victoria? Only to add that I am Gen genuinely interested in any comments or questions that the article raises for people who read it. And I am interested in building upon the study. I have 19 more files of people who participated in this study for one year. And one of my goals, if I live long enough, <laughs> is to analyze the other participants and look at differences in what they were able to observe and report and document in the same measures. Um, so I think it there's a lot to learn from a study like this, both about one's own efforts and about coaching or providing therapy based in working on differentiation of self. So I hope that I will be able to present more data over time. But in the meantime, I welcome questions and comments from readers. Okay. Well, thanks for discussing this article. I'm hoping that uh, people will have a chance to read it and get back to you. Uh, I'm also you. interested in what people think about this. It's an important contribution to the literature and to the theory itself. So. Um, Thanks for being with me today, Victoria. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. I know. Bye.